Hi everyone, Justin Pate from the Rap Institute, and in this video you're going to get an overview of all the essential tools you need to install CoverStyle interior film. What's interesting is CoverStyle just partnered recently with SOT. So for a long time you could order the film, but not necessarily the tools, but now SOT has an amazing catalog filled with lots of amazing tools. And what's even cooler is CoverStyle has just as many colors and finishes as SOT has tools. Hmm. So that being said, it can be confusing to choose the right ones for getting the proper install. So I'm joined today by the lead trainers from CoverStyle who are going to walk you through which ones you need to get the best results. So let's get to it, guys. So guys, why don't you introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Stefano. Welcome, I'm Andrea. We are uh, the technical part of the product. Uh, we manage the training and... Uh... We are the official trainer. So today, like Justin explained, we will give a quick overview about the tools that you need to have to apply this kind of vinyl. Awesome. You know, for me, it's super exciting because it's one of those things where if you get the right combination of tools, as you guys know, you can really great, get amazing results, especially with that interior film cover style. So lots of finishes and stuff. That being said, let's walk you through it. And we'll begin with obviously prep, get to install and post. So guys, when you start the install with uh, what tools should people get? First of all, you need to have a, a good tool bag and a toolbox to keep all the tools that you need to, to have. So uh, this is mandatory to, to have it. Uh, after we have a cleaning product, this is a surface cleaner. It's uh, one of the most famous ones. Uh, you need to use all the time on the surface uh, to, to clean the surface. So uh, this is really important to use with uh, some paper like that that will not give uh, any uh, type of dust or something on the on the surface. Nice. So then obviously, you know, when you're doing a lot of interior, you're going to be working a wide variety of different surfaces. Some are smooth, some have some, you know, kind of peaks and valleys. So you need to scrape those down. So you have a different variety of scrapers as well. Yeah, absolutely. For example, sometimes you have to remove double side adhesive. You have to remove a trace of this from the surface. So you have a scraper, a different one, plastic, metal one with a metal blade to remove the double side adhesive and after you can proceed with the, with the installation. Nice. And so obviously if you haven't done any interior film, you might not know this, but if you've done it, you definitely know. But once you get the surface clean and you know prepped, you actually have to put a primer on. You have two different types of ones. Yeah. We have uh, the solvent base that is in the art bottle. So this go on the absorb on not absorbent surface. Um, the other one, it's a water-based primer and you use on absorbent surface. So everything that can absorb like plywood, like chalk, plaster wall, uh, many different surfaces. Nice. So you got your tool bags, you got your cleaners, you got your scrapers, then you have the surface primer. Now you're ready for installation. installation. <laughs> Absolutely. We have a few type of squeegee, uh, different type. For example, <clears throat> our squeegee have a two different angles, a straight angle when you need to cut exactly on the corner and the round angle help us to install the film inside the um, channel in the door for example. <clears throat> we have a felt, uh, obviously we need to use a different felt for different type of uh, material. We have structured vinyl, flat vinyl and also uh, glitter. For example for the glitter we need to use a, a special tool, it's a roller because like this, we don't remove the glitter, we don't scratch and ruin it, the squeegee. Okay. Yeah, because again, what's interesting about interior films, and this is where you should really dial in and pay attention to the different types of squeegees they're showing is, like this glitter film is super popular. And if you use, let's say, a normal squeegee of the buffer, all that glitter is going to go bye-bye. So again, that's when you need the roller. But then there's other finishes where you might need a soft squeegee as opposed to a hard squeegee. Absolutely. For example, when you apply gloss vinyl, you should use something that it's really smooth and something that cannot scratch the vinyl because in other cases you damage the, the vinyl during the installation. So uh, you can use also this one, wet sometimes. So you have all the squeegee for uh, all the different installation that you can, uh, you can do. Nice, and now with the partnership with SOT, what's really cool is now you have a wide variety of different cards to choose from. So extremely important with cover style film, have a big variety in your tool bag. You're ready to go and definitely have the different buffers. But then obviously you need to finish it. And you know, interior film is definitely interesting to cut. So you have a different ways to not only prep the install, but also to finish it. So these tools are actually kind of cool. So this is for doing what? Oh, so this one is a really special tools with a blade on the front. It's a really tiny blade, three different uh, type of position and three middle uh, little part uh, position for cut the back liner, for cut the vinyl nice. and for cut uh, both sides. So when you have two layers. Ah, okay. But work really good. Try to think if I need to work on the, a real marble place. I don't have uh, any other place to cut the film. I put this in the second position. I'm pretty sure to don't ruin the, the surface where I cut. Nice. So really good. 
Very cool. And then this is a very popular one as well. This actually, Absolutely. so it's all about cutting the backing paper in many cases without cutting the film. This is a good one. Yes, these tools, it's uh, really important to use when we need to start uh, the application on uh, a really high uh, wall or something like this. I need to manage a lot of material, so I need to have a, a good position and don't uh, fall in the application. And also it's coated with a special uh, paint uh, to scroll under the film and don't block uh, and make some issues. Nice. And then for the scissors, you know, it's interesting. Why would someone need scissors? And these are heavy duty as well. Absolutely. Sometimes uh, you need uh, in some uh, uh, element uh, to cut and to don't ruin it, uh, the back. So you go inside, you cut a little bit and you pass the object. Nice. So. Okay. And you also don't damage the object as Absolutely. well because you want to cut safely around these areas without damaging. And then for also cutting and finishing, you obviously have your safety box and this is just for clicking the blades into, which is pretty standard, normal. But again, you guys have a different light blades. You have your carbon blades, 58 degree, 30 yeah, degree blades. So with interior films, just like your squeegees, you should have different types of blades to play with different films. Every situation, uh, uh, they need uh, the good tools. So if I need to cut uh, uh, the two layer, I need uh, a very sharp blade. Ah to don't scratch the under structure. So it's something really important to have. And uh, we keep uh, all uh, the, the, the different blade here. Carbon blade, stainless steel blade, 45, 30 degrees blade. Cool, cool. And what's unique about interior films as well, and you might think that this is just for car wrapping, having an application look, but because the film is so thick, you really need to kind of round the same edges and corners and get the material tight, because if you don't do it, it kind of reaches up around there. So having a combination of application glove and heat is really cool, great. And we have also the cage for the heat gun. So for example, in case you don't want to touch something, for example, when you work with this mm -hmm. and you place it on the floor, you have the risk to burn the floor. So with this cage, you can avoid to uh, ruin something when you are doing the installation. And about the, um, uh, these tools, we have the gloves. So like Justin said, the gloves you use when you stretch the film, or for example, when you need to work in some uh, RHS area, you should work with this one, because in other case, you can leave mark on the vinyl. So it's really uh, important to have also this kind of uh, gloves in your tool. Absolutely, because a lot of times when you're working, especially with a cover style film, some of the stuff is textured. And if you're just running your bare finger down, especially over a long day, you could really damage your finger. Having the application glove is absolutely critical. And then what's interesting too is, you know, the finishing tools. So finishing tools, really important for you guys. So explain, uh, you got this one and then this one's unique as well. Absolutely. When you finish the installation, uh, these tools work really good to sail completely the film on the corner. Okay. We need to know how to work it, so we don't need to pass the, the, the tools uh, and scratch the film, but only push and uh, sail the, the two layers. Yeah, because this, this, this particular one is really nice because the tip gets hot, so especially on those corners, you can actually get it hot and then it kind of seals that edge a little better. Now sometimes, even though cover style comes with an airy dress feature, so for the most part, if you get a bubble, you can press it with your finger. Sometimes, based on the surface, you might get bubbles in this area. Yeah. And this is a pen with a little needle that you can use it to pop out the air. So in case you have a little bubble, you can just need to push and remove the air with the finger. So it's a nice tool to have. Nice. So one, of the, one of the final tools for finishing right now is you have a straight edge, and you guys like to use the straight edge for what type of cutting? So sometimes you need to cover also the furniture, the inside of the furniture. It's uh, some ambience where uh, to work, it's not so big space. So you are not the space to manage a lot of film. So it's better to cut ex exactly right the film and uh, install the without X. Nice, nice. So when you're on location, you can trim the panels ahead of time, get it that snug fit, which is super cool. So again, the finishing right now, and then for the most part, that's all you need to get cover style on in a professional manner. But then there's sometimes you have to take cover style off. Oh. So in this case, you want to use the write off right now. And this is again, the great thing about the partnership between SOT and solar screen is the fact that not only do you have great tools, but you also have those liquids, surface cleaner too, and the write off. And now you can take off that adhesive, very straightforward. So again, now what's cool is again, you guys have been training, you know, trainers for cover style for quite some time now. Having these tools is probably a very exciting to have. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome stuff. So now this is what, these are all the essential tools you need to install cover style correctly. And again, this comes from the partnership with SOT. Awesome stuff. So again, look for the uh, great innovations with new tools coming out with these guys and with Marco in the partnership, who's the owner of SOT. So cool stuff. So help this helps you get a streamlined in the new catalog and gets you super successful and making lots of money. So thanks for watching. I'm Justin Pate.